Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. We will now have the we will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. He gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the luminous mysteries. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery, 
the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage. O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O, o God, God whose only, only begotten Son, Son by, by His life, death, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant to beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, 
in, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us so, in the gospel we share with all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Thursday in the 19th week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with a celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, Come let, us let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock of shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they have seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come, let us worship the Lord, for He is our God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, for He is our God. Please be seated. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. On the holy mountain is a city, cherished by the Lord, the Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwelling. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this will be her children. And Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, these are her children, and while they dance, they will sing. In you all find their home. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. Who was cup in his hand the waters of the sea and marked off the heavens with a span. Who was held in a measure the dust of the earth, weigh the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance. 
who has directed the spirit of the Lord, or has instructed him in his counselor, who did he, whom did he consult to gain knowledge, who taught him the path of judgment, or showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations count as a drop of the bucket, as rust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than a powder. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor its animals be enough for holocaust. Before him all the nations as are not, as nothing and void he accounts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give praise to the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain. The Lord is King, the peoples tremble. He is strong than the cherubim, the earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion, his footstool. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoke his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord, and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will, they kept the law, which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives, yet you punish all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <coughs> Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may marry to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Joshua. The Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know I am with you, as I was with Moses. Now command the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant to come to a halt in the Jordan when you reach the edge of the waters. So Joshua said to the children of Israel, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you will know that there is a living God in your midst, who at your approach will dispossess the Canaanites. The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of the whole earth will precede you into the Jordan. When the soles of the feet of the priests carrying the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of whole earth, touch the water of the Jordan, it will cease to flow. For the water flowing down from upstream will halt in a solid bank. The people struck their tents to cross the Jordan, with the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant ahead of them. No sooner had his priestly bearers of the Ark waded it into waters at the edge of the Jordan, which overflows all its banks during the entire season of the harvest, than the waters flowing from upstream halted, bucking up in a solid mass for a very great distance indeed. From Adam, a city in the direction of Zarethan, while those flowing downstream toward the salt sea of the Araba disappeared entirely. Thus the people crossed over opposite Jericho. While all Israel crossed over on dry ground, the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord remained motionless on dry ground in the bed of the Jordan until the whole nation had completed the passage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. <clears throat> Alleluia.
when Israel came forth from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of alien tongue. Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his domain. Alleluia. The sea beheld and fled, Jordan turned back, the mountains keep like rams, the hills like the lambs of the flock. Alleluia. Why is it, O sea, that you flee, O Jordan, that you turn back, you mountains that you skip like rams, you hills like the lambs of the flock? Alleluia. Please stand. Let your countenance shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times. Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the load. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had a fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me too. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. <clears throat> when Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Mercy is not just about forgiveness of sins, but it's also about giving an opportunity to us for transformation. You know, if you look at in the Old Testament, the idea of, of God is that we have a God who creates. 
we have a God who is a creator. And the best creation that he has is man. But he is not just someone who makes something or someone from nothing, but he is also a creator because he sustains his creation. He sustains it by giving harmony, by prov providing order. At dahil ganun ang konsepto ng Diyos, pag tinitignan natin, pag binigyan natin focus ang Old Testament, meron tayong Diyos na manlilikha, na nagbibigay order, ganun ang image nung, nung kapanahunan ng Old Testament sa ating Diyos. He is someone who puts things in order because He is the Creator. So, if anything is not in order, the conclusion was, it is not from God. It is not from God. At dahil doon sa deduction na yon, the effect was to people, to society, was it became a society that was so judgmental. Ang bilis humusga. Ay, ikaw ay sa Diyos. Ay, ikaw hindi ka sa Diyos. What was the basis? If you are not in order or if you are not in harmony, hindi ka sa Diyos. Pag nasa order ka, pag sumusunod ka sa order, sa harmony, ay kabilang ka ng sa Diyos. The problem is, it was something that seemingly for people, absolute. Kaya tuloy ang daming na-oppressed. Magkasakit ka lang. You are already judged as someone who is not of God. Wala ka namang kasalanan ginawa. Nagkasakit ka lang. Pero, nahusgahan ka na agad. Hindi ka lang relative nung mga considered banal at pinagpala sa society, makasalanan ka na agad. Why? Eh, you are part of that family that is not in order, considered to be not in harmony, considered to be not of God. And this was something that our Lord Jesus Christ witnessed in his lifetime. That is why the image of God that was being brought about by our Lord Jesus Christ to people was a breath of fresh air. Nakita nila na ang Diyos natin is not just really about putting things into order putting things into straight. But he is also someone who has that merciful heart that gives opportunity to people to transform themselves coming out from their crooked ways standing in front of our just God. Kaya merong mercy ang iminumong kahi, ang itinuturo, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Merong awa. That is why the question of Peter was very relevant to their time. How many times should I forgive my brother, my sister, who have sinned against me. And Jesus, with His words, you are to forgive Him 77 times, were words of mercy that does not just remove a person from his sinfulness, but also gives him the opportunity to transform himself. 
recognizing na hindi din naman talaga ganong kadali baguhin ang buhay ng tao. Kaya nga ang grasya ng awa ng Diyos umaapaw. Malaki yung pagkakataon para magbago. Meron tayo laging espasyo para baguhin ang ating mga sarili. Breaking that idea of God who has always been putting things into order. Nakakahon ka lagi. So, hindi na lang pala ibig sabihin dahil meron kang sakit. Eh, makasalanan ka na at wala ka ng pag-asa, you are to be put into exile. Sorry ka na lang. Ay, sorry ka na lang. Pinanganak ka dun sa pamilya na hindi considered na pinagpala. Wala ka ng pag-asa. But our Lord Jesus Christ prescribes 77 times. There is always that space for forgiveness for transformation, for redemption. Yun ang ipinapakilala ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa kanyang patungkol sa kanyang Ama sa lagi. Na something new sa society kung saan siya namuhay. Which, my dear brothers and sisters, I tell you, is still very relevant today. And that is why us Christians is very much called to give emphasis in that life of mercy. That we as Christians should have that habit of being merciful to one another. Kasi sinasabi ko sa inyo, parang bumabalik yung panahon ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa panahon natin ngayon. Sa panahon natin ngayon, ang daling humusga. Wala ka pang ang ginagawa, nahusgahan ka na eh. Eh, ikaw, kulahan ka. Eh, ikaw, dilawan ka. Meron ka na agad kulay. Wala ka namang ginagawa. Especially with social media, so easy to judge a person. Hmm? Hmm. Magbigay nga lang ng, magkaroon nga lang ng viral video about a person para bagang nagusgahan na yung tao. I Minsan mean, nga tayo eh, ang bilis din maglagay ng comment na para bang kilalang kilala na natin yung tao. Kung makahusga talaga agad. Not minding the effect of those words, of those powerful words to a person. No wonder why we hear in our time, especially the young ones, committing suicide. Bakit? Nahusgahan sa social media. That is something new. Parang hindi natin naririnig yan dati. Kaya nga, ang awa ng Diyos that has that space for transformation, that grace na, na i-approve ng person yung kanyang sarili from evil, e napaka-importante, napaka-valuable sa panahon natin ngayon. Remember, to approve a thing is not something easy. Kaya nga, to judge a person easily is really problematic. Kaya nga, ang grasya ng awa ng Diyos sa panahon natin ngayon, very important, very 
valuable. Sino magsisimula nito? Sino magpapalaganap nito? Sinong inaasahan para ipakita ito sa sangkatauhan? Ikaw, kayo, ako, tayong mga Kristiyano. Bakit? Ito yung pinakita sa atin ng ating Diyos. Ito yung halimbawa na ipinakita ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa atin. Kaya ito dapat yung sundan natin. Kaya sa araw na ito, magandang pagnilay-nilayan yung bagay na yun. In my life, how am I to people? Am I someone who easily judge a person? Tells him that you are like this, you are like that. Or am I someone who gives understanding and mercy to him? A mercy that gives him space to transform himself in becoming a better person. Forgiving him not only seven times, but 77 times. Magsitayo po tayong lahat. Let us pray to God that as His people who have experienced His forgiveness, we may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God, set free by the blood of Christ, may not be divided in factions, but live in tolerance and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those embittered by injuries and wrongdoings may cast away resentment for their hearts and be open to the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those among us who find it difficult to forgive may realize God's generous mercy for everyone and may be able to forgive from our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those of us who feel in the deep wounds of physical and spiritual injuries may find healing in the Lord's forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer for justice, peace, and development of a country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be forgiven of their sins, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, look with compassion on our failures. Deliver us from hardness of heart and grant that we may be always ready to forgive hurts and heal divisions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your Church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, Gerard, our master, Philemon, our provincial, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. 
Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that it would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng misa, ako po ay magpapasalamat sa ating mga novices for assisting us in our in our mass and of course, we'd like to thank everyone for participating actively sa ating misa at sa ating prayers. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwi at nawabaon ninyo pong pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles our devotees and pilgrims be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.